Today on JIC Labs, we're going to look at the convert function to make some inches into some meters. Let's get started. Now that you have Excel open and ready to go, you're going to see we have some examples set out for us. In example one, we have 70 inches, and how many meters is that? So, like we said earlier, we're going to use the convert function, and we'll dive right into it. So what we'll equals equals convert. We're going to open those parentheses. What's the first thing we need to enter? The number that we want to convert, and that's going to be 70. We'll hit comma. And again, you'll see this drop down menu and you can come down in here and select everything you want to do. You can select foot pounds to Newton meters. You can select PSI to atmosphere, days to hours, so on and so forth. There are a lot of pre-built in conversions or converts that you're able to utilize. Now keep in mind if say I select grams and I do light years, it's going to result in an error because it has to be a like unit to be able to use as convert. So what we're going to do is we want to go on this one inches to meters. So we're going to put in the quotations I in for inches. We're going to hit comma again because this is what we want to convert to and we want to convert to meters. So once again, we're going to hit the parentheses and we're going to pipe in that M. Now keep in mind, these units in convert are case sensitive. Um, I will show you. So we'll close out those parentheses and hit enter. And we're going to see 70 inches is 1.778 meters, as we can see in this equation here. Now, as I was saying, the units are case sensitive. So let's come in here and do a capital M. Well, see, now we got an NA because just keep that in mind, there are many, many units that you convert to and from, so they are case sensitive. So just keep that in mind. So that is one way you can just hard code your equation by convert the unit that you want to convert inches to meters. In example two, we're gonna use the cell references so we don't have to go in and change it every single time like we would have to in example one. A7, we have the number in which we wanna convert, in B7, we have what it is originally, and in E7, we have what we want to convert to. Since this is centimeters, uh, our answer will vary by a couple of decimal places. But in D7, let's go ahead and come in here and type in convert. We're going to, first, what's the number? That is A7. What are we converting from? That is B7. And what do we want to convert to? That will be E7. And we'll close out those parentheses, close out those parentheses, and we'll hit enter. And we'll see 70 inches is 177.8 centimeters. If we just do a lowercase m for meters, we will see that we have the same answer as we do up front. Likely so, if you wanted to come in here and say 12 parsecs, and how many light years? Well, we can see that's four times e to the 17th power is that four meters. But if we come in and do light years, we can see that is 39.139 light years. Example number two allows you to enter this information and you don't have to keep changing your equation. It'll keep updating. We all know we're going to ask Google, Alexa, or Siri, or we're just going to go into Google and type 70 inches to centimeters and it's going to net us the result. So why are we talking about the convert function? Well, let's just say you have your database and one of the fields is inches and you need to get them to centimeters or meters or whatever the case may be. Maybe it's fluid ounces and you need them in pints or whatever it is. What this is gonna allow you to do is write that equation in whatever cell and just copy and paste it down. And then now you have all of those values those numbers you need to convert will be automatically updated. If you were to ask Siri or go to Google and type in 70 inches of centimeters, you have to do that for every single example. This will allow you to write that equation once and copy and paste it down and all of your units would be automatically updated. Hopefully you found this video helpful and it helps you understand how and when you can use the convert function in Microsoft Excel. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you all next week. 
Today on Jick Labs, have you married a foreigner and she keeps using metric and you know what the hell it is? Well, don't worry, we got you set up and I'm gonna show you how to get rid of those funny numbers and know what the hell she's talking about. Let's get started. Today on Jick Labs, we're gonna show you how to convert some data. Not in the, no. The best one was the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Today on Jig Labs, we're going to look at the convert function that allows you to take a specific unit of measure and convert it to another one. Hence, convert. Let's get started. 